Hello everyone! Today I'll be drawing a cool looking sunglass using an app called R Studio Pro. I usually use the app Procreate for drawing, but when drawing a picture like this, I use R Studio Pro. This is because R Studio Pro is perfect for editing photos. So when you want to draw while editing the image at the same time, I recommend using this app. In today's video, I will introduce you to some ways of drawing on this app. Alright, let's start. From the plus button at the upper right, tap New from Photos and select the photo of your choice from your camera roll. This time I'm going to use this image as you can see. I got this image from Pinterest, but there's this thing I want to get rid of at the bottom right, so I will delete this using a spot healing brush. This can be done by going to the tool panel on the left and select the heal button. But when you want to delete, long tap the reference and trace the part you want to delete. There is a layer button at the upper right, so click here to add new layers and I will start drawing on a blank layer. The brush I'll use this time is an ink brush. Within the category of ink brush, there is something called clean ink, and that's what I will be using this time. First, I'm going to start drawing the base of the sunglass. This is only a rough draft, so it can be done quickly and doesn't need to be perfect. I have the layer opacity set around 50% right now, so that the picture underneath my drawing is visible, and this helps me draw nicely. Once you have the outline, we are going to color the inside. From the tool panel on the left, select flat colors and touch the area you want to paint. This lets you color the area. You can adjust details using a brush tool and an eraser tool to alter the shape. On RStudio Pro, you could double tap your Apple Pencil to switch a brush tool and an eraser tool. So go ahead and use this function so you could draw quickly. Once you're done with your rough sketch, add a new layer at the top where we will draw a final draft. Lower the opacity of rough draft to around 10% to make it slightly visible. Add a layer on the layer at the top where we'll then start drawing. When drawing a final draft, make sure to be more careful and focus on drawing a beautiful line. Once we have the outline, we will then start coloring again. But sometimes some parts aren't colored completely, so when it happens, set the value here higher to be painted nicely. When you're done with your final draft, you don't need a rough draft anymore, so delete it and add a new layer at the top where we will be drawing the frame of the sunglass. We're almost done with the base of the sunglass. But when you want to slightly alter the shape, from Edit at the upper left, select Transform. And set the category here free. This lets you change the shape freely. Next, I'm going to draw the yellow line. 
Add a new layer and place it above the base or the black layer. There is a clipping mask when you tap the gear icon here, so select it. About clipping mask, when you turn it on, it helps you make sure you color without running over the base or the black layer, so it's really convenient. So remember about the use of a clipping mask. Now we are going to change the drawing mode for this yellow line. When you click here on the layer panel, there are many options to choose from. So this time, go ahead and select Linear Dodge. We will also change the drawing mode for the base, the black layer. For this time, choose Linear Burn. Depending on which option you want, you get to express the image differently, so play around with them and see which one you like the best. The yellow part here was orangish, so I'm going to change the color. When doing so, from adjust at the upper left, select hue, saturation, and move the sliders as you like to switch the color. Now the sunglass is almost complete. Next I'm going to change the color of her lips. Add a new layer and grab a soft brush. Then choose the color you want to have from the color palette and color like this. Change the drawing mode for this layer as we did earlier to color this time. This enables the part to be colored. I find it easier to set the drawing mode to color first and color using a brush. This looks good already, but I feel like I could make the color darker, so duplicate the layer for her lips and switch the drawing mode for the layer duplicated to overlay. Okay, so this was pretty much all for coloring. Alas, tone adjustments. I'm going to alter the skin a bit before I finish. Alright, just like this, it's complete. When exporting at last, from Files, click on Export where we can select the file format. And we are going to export here. This time I'm going to export in JPEG. This is what it looks like in the end. I'm thinking of using this for my profile somewhere. Alright, today I drew an image using RStudio Pro. There are many other things you can do with RStudio Pro, and I'll introduce them in my upcoming videos. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you for watching my video. Bye bye!